how to make a powerful water-powered Nerf gun. Water-powered? What? This is what you're going to need. You're going to need 1730 seconds brass piping, a PVC coupler, any compressed air squirter. It has to be a pump-up compressed air because I doubt you're going to be able to change the nozzle on anything else without it exploding. And then you're going to lose all your pressure. So you have to be able to refill it. There might be some way, but I recommend having to be able to refill it because then you can just keep using it without an air compressor or anything. Or a bike pump. Or doing much. So this is the... Just little, this is, I, actually, these are an internals of, I think, of old Busby gun. But it's not really that much left of it anymore. It's way different now. It's just a pump-up comp compressed air button thing. It has a little button and it shoots out compressed air. Now this is what the important thing is. You're going to need a Nerf dart. And this 1736 brass piping works. I'm sure you could use like CPVC or PEX or anything else that'll fit. That'll hold a Nerf dart with a nice tight fit. It won't fall out or anything. And it's a pretty tight. Not too tight, but it's... It's not as tight as CPVC, but it it's okay. So then what you're want, going to want to do is I can't show this on camera too easily. Maybe I can. Wait a sec. You can't really see the sink up there because I, I don't want to get my camera wet. But I'll, I'll just show the firing. But basically just fill up this entire coupler with water. So hold up. Actually, I'm going to pump it up before I fill up the coupler so because it does have a small leak with the water. So that'll be nice to pump it up first. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, or seven. Okay, now the Nerf dart is inserted. There will be dead space, but trust me, the water will fill in the dead space. So just fill up the entire coupler until it reaches the top of the coupler. Then to create a seal, stick your coupler in. Now I'll try to hold this as low as possible. Stick your coupler in and when you're ready, Hold this down because it can fly out. Stick your coupler in, and when you're ready, you can just press the little button, and it's really powerful. You saw that. It's it's not quite good enough to uh, shoot through cardboard, but I haven't done much testing on that. It's But it's really, really powerful. The different mixtures of water, different amounts of water versus Nerf Dart, that can also do something. But I just like to fill up the coupler. It's very powerful. Just fill up the coupler. I have a curved coupler. But yeah, just fill up the coupler and ridiculous performance. It's not that great. Like, I'm making it sound way better than it is. But you wouldn't expect taking something that shoots like 50 FPS, rebarreling it with a coupler, water powering it and putting water behind it, shooting it and then that happening, shooting that hard. Of course I can't chronograph it because water's going to fly out everywhere. But ridiculous performance. I'll shoot it off one more time. I'll first I'll pump it up again. Four, five, six, seven. It does have a safety feature. I think if you pump it more than eight times, it's gonna blow by itself. But uh, eight, I think even eight can blow. Not blow the tank, just shoot it by itself. Okay, again. Once it's filled up, just hold it down. I probably don't need to, if, but my coupler's in a little loose, though. Okay, and, and whenever you're ready, you can just press whatever your valve button is. Three, two, one. I didn't even see that dart fly to the bathtub wall. I mean, that's ridiculous. I don't, I, again, I can't chronograph this. I know I can not put water in it and just use compressed air, but it seems to have a way different performance. I can do a range test, though. It's Right now, it's pretty dark outside because it's, like 8 o'clock in the night. But tomorrow I can go outside and do a range test unless it's raining. But tomorrow I'll go outside and do a range test and see what this thing can exactly reach. I can't. And then I'll, and then I'll be able to determine a rough estimate of the FPS. Now ah, the cat's coming up. My cat loves water, but I'm not going to squirt him because that's just wrong. I'm just going to kind of ignore that he's here. I'll do it one last time. And then I'll be done because it is a little bit messy and it, there's a cardboard box in the bathtub that is now soaked. Okay, cat, don't get in the bathtub. Come on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot something in there. I want you getting all soaked up. Okay. Come on, cat, move. Come on. Come on, let's go.
Okay, I guess I'm not gonna shoot this off again because my cat's 20 something pounds and I don't wanna bother him because he can he can do this. Can't see it, but he can do a lot of things. So that's about it for the video. I'm about, I'm about to face brutal war, so peace out, guys.